are breaking the system. You're doing a dungeon for one hour? Yeah, or until I get dungeon locked out. It's kind of odd. Sometimes you can do a billion uh, runs. Sometimes you get locked out. From my experience, I have no clue uh, how that works. Or how it bugs out. Yo, where the fuck have you been, Meller? I've been in Italy, man. Italy, Oslo, going to Germany. It's a clown fiesta. It really is. But I'm like back to normal schedule next week. Good to see you, Vemi. Are you ready to dominate some delves with those 12,000 gold uh, boxes? What is that macro? Uh, it's uh in I have a video where it's pinned. It's really good. Just automatically signs you up for a follower dungeon, this dungeon. So it's sick. Hello, friendly angry monkey streamer. What in the fuck of time of the day do you call this? This is lunch hour, man. And I am good. I don't have many comp- Fuck. Yeah, n now I messed up the jump. All thanks to Manchi. God damn. Oh, I'm just doing the first room, yes. Molo, what's good, dude? We need to farm. I'm almost 3 million gold down. You are? I'm down with a demon hunter. Nice. I'm doing some with randoms at the moment. Wow. Can you imagine? Fucking Vimmy. Cenobite, good to see you. Are you doing good? Italy trip? It was nice, dude. It was nice. He leeched some group and got raged by some lady. Yes, I did that. No shame. It was worth it. Yeah, it sucks, I can imagine. Fuck playing with randoms, dude. It's in my video on this, Van Brock. Raining is fucking expensive. Getting a new ring almost costs 100k for gems and enchants. Oof. Uh, that's good, though. I love it when it's expensive to raid. It's good. Any delves to that? Yeah, we're doing it after this. What are you farming right now? This is a solo dungeon farm. For cloth and darkman decks. Mainly cloth, though. Great, thanks on you. Same, same, thank you. Glad you're doing good. I need better RNG. Sixty K to make one or more? Plus pips? Is through the best class of this farm? No. No, no, no. I, I mean I would probably if I was gonna make a tune specific for this, maybe like a a war, man. Like this is this shit is so easy to do. You just wanna play something that can burst them down fast. Or maybe like my ret pally would also destroy on this. There's a million classes better than this druid. It's 150,000 gold each hour. Good farm, yes. 
Do you still need the tier 8 dose at some point, by the way, for some gear? I probably do. I've been doing a uh, tier 8 dose on my, my paladin only. I haven't done any on any of my druids. I even did the Sackveer. The Sackveer thingy. Grand, what's up, buddy? Cube, good to see you. What is the looted item value? Is that the sale price of the item you get from this run? Yes. That is the, the value of all the cloth and the Dark Moon decks that I'm picking up. Mainly just cloth, though. Who's that? Cube with the Prime? My man, Cubester. Appreciate that, buddy. Welcome back in, man. How many months are we talking? 28? Shit. It's a really good farm to do solo. We obviously need the tailoring though. Inscription helps, but the vast majority of the gold comes from uh, tailoring. There is a day limit in the follower dungeon. What's the limit? I've never reached... Like, so, the first time when I did this farm, I got dungeon locked out after the traditional 10 runs, right? And then people started saying that a Mutton, 32 months? My man. Yo, appreciate that, buddy. Welcome back in, dude. Hope you've been good. There's a brand new one as well. Tomo. Tomo with the Twitch Prime. Legend. Thank you so much for that, man. Cool of you to spend a Twitch Prime on me, dude. Welcome in. No, it got fucked. The macro didn't work. Well, my jump didn't. Did you say Warrior is better for this? Yes. But in terms of limit, ever since then, I haven't ever reached the limit. It's been weird. It takes me like 40 to 45 minutes to reach it, but never counted. Okay. So I might hit the limit before an hour then. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how many runs that is. I don't know. And you would have to count as well, because you don't reset dungeon. So there's like no add-on that can count the runs for you. Soon I will be gone in one month for a very long time. I will be going to Australia for an unlimited time. For an unlimited time. What do you mean? You're gonna like backpack? Topski style? I gotta sneeze. Yo. Oh shit. I gotta do <coughs> again. Oh. Now I'll be working there and maybe move traveling around. That sounds nice though. But like, if you're gonna be working there. You gotta get a computer, would you, man? Oh, Super Murloc. That's a full year, man. Shit. Dude, appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back in. 12 beautiful months. Nice.
should multi-box it, you should multi-box everything. Hey, so is this the only cloud farm out there now? How much is it an hour? It's like 100,000 gold an hour, roughly. If you look at the uh, loot appraiser right above that with the current rate. But it's not the only one, no. The Askahef one is still valid. By all means, so is the Halifold Beach. But this one can be done solo. So this one is way more attractive for most people. Prancy is back at it again. Six months, half a year. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, buddy. And good morning to you. We'll see how long I can keep on going, though, until I hit the dungeon lookout. Hello, guys. Noxim. What's up, buddy? Dude, now how many characters have you gold capped this expansion? Eh, not that many, dude. Uh, above, uh, east, uh, it depends on how you look at it. Like, easily, um, uh, it's a while ago since I uh, received over 20 million gold in sales from farms. But, like, I made more gold. Uh, fuck, Orava did the calculations. I don't remember how much it was now. But I, for instance, sold my Dark Moon Fire Water. Which makes me a shit ton. I sold a lot of like old content materials that I invested in before uh, Warwoodin came out. I've been doing really well on Transmog as well. On uh, all my realms the last couple of weeks. Like in total, I have no clue. Was any farm soloable in the monk cloth farm? This one. I wouldn't do any other farm solo cloth. 8.7 to 9. No, it's been a while, Molo. Been too busy, man. Not since the war within came out. Have you? Where did you say the macro was pinned? I know the macro was pinned, uh... You can't do that while- Oh, I didn't sign up? What the fuck? Yo! Okay, whew, it worked. I have a video about this farm, and it's pinned in, um... Uh, well, it's in the description of that video. I can't find it, man, I just need to be, uh... uh locked out. I want to do like a proper test of this shit. See exactly how good it is. It's looking very good. Giro Vago with the fall that will come in. Mini golf? I love mini golf, man. 
played some in Barcelona and some yesterday, but I'm struggling slicing every ball suddenly. <laughs> There you go, Van Brack, he found the macro, man. Copy that shit. And remember, very important, if you guys haven't done this farm before, I'll show you in a second now. So, you click the macro and then you jump. Click, jump. That way, you save a loading screen, because you don't have to leave the dungeon to then join back into the dungeon. But you need to jump in order to do that. So, click macro and then jump. And you will skip one loading screen. It saves you a lot of time when you do it. But for an hour, man, like it, it matters. 16 minutes, we're already at 30,000 gold. It's pretty good. Bring back the RNG farms? I completely agree with you. The biggest RNG farm we're doing right now is one of my favorite farms in the War Within. That's running Delves Tinder boxes. I think it's great. Probably because of the... You're doing the same shit over and over and over again. Like 35 times an hour, but... It's the RNG. I hate Delves. What? Delves are great. Come on, die, 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 die. It's so RNG on, uh, not fun type of RNG, but when you kill, a, like, this pack before you reset, it's so RNG on what kind of materials you get. Like, a couple of runs ago, I only got Dark Moon cards, not a single cloth. And then some runs are insane, you get a shit ton of cloth. No, Manchi, that could have been a Teams meeting, man. Even a, an email, honestly. Like, in, if you're talking about Oslo. That's most meetings, though. I think everyone in the chat... That's deal with meetings, can agree. Most meetings could have been a, a Teams call. Most Teams calls could have been an email. It's... Yeah. I don't know, man. Just don't go? Yeah. That's what I've been doing since COVID. man has been working out great. Hey, Crusoe, what's up, dude? Uh, soloing this dungeon for cloth. A follower dungeon, it's great. Most emails could have not been sent. Yeah. That's true. How are you tailoring points spent? Uh, exclamation mark tailoring. Oh, no. 
See, now we're on a roll. 20 minutes in, 36,000. It's, yeah, more than 100,000 gold an hour. Which is pretty good. I mean, you do over 100,000 gold an hour with mining as well. In most cases, but... Usually, this, uh... Like, this time into an expansion, it's... Fuck. Previously, it's been tough to make over 100k an hour solo. Like, this far into an expansion. Well, it's not really far into an expansion, but you guys get the idea. 10 minutes, 13k? You gotta step up the game, Miller. Do you have all the uh, tailoring points? What kind of price source are you using? I checked to see if any of the mats was fucked on min buyout, but they weren't, so I went with min buyout, since that's like the actual price right now. 14.7 at the next run. Yeah, I got 3,000 gold value in one run. Because I, had, I got lucky with cloth. Almost 40k. Is the scraps worth it, or do they lower normal cloth percent? The scraps? What do you mean? That was a good run. Fuck. Until now. It doesn't lower your chance. You mean, sorry, student, you're a silly goose. That's a compliment. Hey, how do I change the loot appraiser pricing group? Mine is stuck in regional market value. You just open up your uh, loot appraiser, reload it, and price source. The first page, right here. When is engineering farm? Yo, you want to do the salvage farm again? That's We can't show that on stream. I mean, that shit is too sick. I've been on this low carb diet for 11 days now. Lost six kilos. First time in ages, I'm under 100. Dude, good fucking job. 99.9? That must feel good though, man, not being triple digits. Good job. Boom, boom, boom. Cloth min is mostly run because of snipe haters. Yeah, that's why I checked to see if the uh, min buyout on cloth was accurate before I took it on min buyout. Otherwise, you would have to go with uh, market value. But this time, with my last TSM uh, scan, it was good. Is that correct? 
no cloth is fucked with like one gold value. Yes, come on, there we go. It's a great farm though, 26 minutes, 43,000 gold. I mean, I'll make more with, when we do delves after this. I'm feeling lucky, man. Today is going to be a good day for delves. Going to break the all-time world record. Four point one K in one loot. Nice. How much do you have now and how much time? Are you catching up to me? You sneaky fuck. Sixty minutes, twenty three K. That's roughly what I had, wasn't it? I don't fuck, I don't remember. I think so. Why is it not working? There we go. Me and a friend uh, did delves for 30 minutes and got one tinderbox combined, but did you do two runs? You got 39k, I think? No. Because now I'm at 45. Or 26 minutes. Hey, David, what's good, dude? I'm not sure how much cloth you get doing that, Quank. Possibly. Guessing this is getting fixed with Dungeon Lockout if too many people do it. I'm not sure if Blizzard gives a fuck, honestly. It could be fixed by all means, but it's it's been around for a while now. Like the first video of this was uh, featured over a week ago. Last day of work before holiday. Nice. How long of a holiday we're we talking? Tinderbox and NA dropped to like 4k a few days ago, went back up to 10k. Yeah, they did the same on EU. Dropped down, and then reset happened, and boom. Back up, day one. Boom, boom, ba -da Like a bot paradise? Possibly. Because you can queue from anywhere in the world. Yeah, nobody would see you. But I, I think that if a million bots were doing this, prices would be completely different. Like prices on cloth are really high. Is this a 30 second delve? No, it's a uh, follower dungeon. Sorry, soon got on ban. For a while, for no reason, they said cheating on following now. Sorry, but I can't play WoW if I'm banned on unfairly. Peace, man. Hope your future streams are good. Understandable, man. That sucks. That's horrible. 
you or someone in your party has entered too many instances. It took me half an hour to reach that. I, I'm not sure how many runs I've done. Like 40? 50? I have no clue. Until I got locked out. How much gold did we make? We made 50,000 gold in half an hour. Yeah. That's really fucking good. That's really good. Let me see. Can you check how much you made on only cloth? I can. Yes. Hold tight. Hello! You can't? Herbal is a mining, man. Get all the null stones. Appreciate the, uh, the Twitch Prime, dude. Three months. Thank you, buddy. How do you re so fast without leaving a dungeon first? You click the macro and then you jump. To avoid being ported out. Let me see. Which ones? I haven't done these, have I? No. I'm curious. Your chat. Pay close attention now, because I need the chat's very, very high IQ opinion about this. So, whenever people claim that they didn't do anything wrong, and they didn't cheat or exploit whatsoever, and they still got banned, do you think that's the case? Yes or no? No being, they probably did something, but they just won't admit it. No, 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 no. No, like 95% of the times. So most people think that they did something. Hey, Jordan. Two months in a row? Appreciate that. No stone is live. Appreciate it. Full spans do happen. Most of the time they did something and won't admit it. Yeah. Alright. I just had to check. Because I... I mean... Statistically speaking, false bans constitute a very small percentage of total bans. The chances are they're guilty. Once I got banned for farming one hour outdoor transmog in Wad, took five days to get unbanned. See, Linz, what's up, buddy? It's just hard to believe because all the actual cheaters also claim they did nothing. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm at. Like, you just, based on statistics, you just have to assume that everyone that got banned and claimed they did nothing wrong are full of shit. Because everyone that gets banned and claims they did nothing wrong is just like going to jail. What are you in for? Man, I didn't do shit. Nah, they got the wrong guy. Did nothing. Because it is, I, I do believe that the percentage of people that do get wrongfully banned, and it happens, just like people get thrown into prison for not actually doing anything. 
But I think percentage-wise, that's very, very small. Fuck, what is the name of my skinning tune? Shit. Stud farm, yeah, that's it. He's also my disenchanter. All right, so only in cloth, it's about 47,000 gold for uh, the guy. Uh, who was that? Silence, two months with the prime. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, for whoever uh, was asking, about 47,000 gold in cloth. So the, the amount of gold from uh, Dark Moon decks, etc. Very small compared to the cloth. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, so now you're doing working a lot? Yeah, sadly, dude. Sadly. Oh, next week is a uh, normal schedule, though. That's going to be good, man. How have you been, Velson? Hey, Noxter, what's up, dude? How's it going, buddy? Velson as well. Same man, doing good though. Nice. Nice. Glad you're good, buddy. Look at this. They're good. They keep on going up. 12,245. Fucking stupid, dude. Shit. Huh. I have too much random shit in the bags of this tune. Get it away. Get it all away. <laughs> 